Hello friends, now we are starting next example from this exercise, exercise number, uh, exercise 5.5 and question number 4. Here two examples are there. In the first example, we have to show that value of this box product will be equals to what? 0. So let us try to solve it using the definition of what? Box product. Box product means what? Scale article product. So here we have considered this left hand side and simplifying this left hand side, we will try to show that its value is equal to what? Right hand side. Now to simplify the box product means to simplify the scalar triple product we, sh we should have to know all the properties of scalar triple product. So well, so scalar triple product means what after first vector if I am giving dot then we have to take what cross product in this two in the remaining two vector b bar plus c bar cross a bar plus b bar plus c bar and this is nothing but the definition of what Scalar triple product means box product of a bar b bar c bar a. Box product of a bar b bar c bar is what? a bar dot b bar cross c bar. If you are giving first dot then take the cross. Otherwise if you are taking first cross then take what? Dot. So this is nothing but definition of what? Scalar triple product. So here we are applying the definition of scalar triple product. First we have taken dot then we have taken cross in between these two vector. So first simplify this, but already we know that first we have to perform which operation? Cross product. So let us find out cross product of these two bracket. So first take the cross product of B bar with all the three terms. So what we will get here? B bar cross A bar, B bar cross A bar plus second term will be B bar cross B bar. Third term will be B bar cross C bar, B bar cross C bar. Now take the cross product of C bar with these three terms. So what we'll get here plus c bar cross a bar plus c bar cross b bar plus c bar cross c bar is equals to keep this a bar dot as it is keep the first term b bar cross a bar as it is plus we know that uh, uh, that cross product of same vector will be equals to what zero. So cross product of b bar with b bar is zero keep this b bar cross c bar as it is plus c bar cross a bar also as it is plus c bar cross b bar also as it is and here also cross product of same two vector will be equals to what zero so which is equal to lastly we are taking dot product of a bar with all the terms in this bracket one two three four total how many terms are there four terms are there in the bracket if we are taking dot product of a bar with the first term see what we get so which is equal to a bar dot b bar cross a bar now we are taking its dot product with the second term means what we get a bar dot b bar cross c bar so plus a bar dot b bar cross c bar so plus then we will get a bar dot c bar cross a bar a bar dot c bar cross a bar plus lastly we will get a bar dot c bar cross b bar a bar dot c bar cross b bar so which is equals to now in a scalar triple product even we have seen one important result that in a scalar triple product if two vectors are identical or equal at that time value of scalar triple product is what zero here which two vectors are identical a bar so here its value is zero so here this scalar triple product can also be denoted by box product box product of which three vector a bar b bar c bar plus here also two vectors are identical so its value is zero plus here it is denoted by box product of a bar second vector is c bar and third vector is what b bar so keep this uh, box product a bar b bar c bar as it is now uh, in the first uh, box product which three vectors are there a bar b bar c bar here also we will try we are trying to arrange this vector so that we will get same box product so here a bar is at first position we are not disturbing to it so we are interchanging these two vector b bar and c bar and what b bar so that we will get a bar b bar c bar so keep this first term as it is we are discussing about this last term not necessary to write zeros here according to property of scalar triple product if any two vectors are interchanged then value of scalar triple product means value of box product changes by what sign so we are not disturbing to a bar but we are interchanging these two vector b bar and what c bar and we know that if we are interchanging two vector value of scalar triple product changes by sign. So now here difference of same two term will be equals to what? Zero and that is our required result. We have to show that value of this box product will be equals to what? Zero. So in this way we have completed first example. Now let us try to solve the second example.
well see in the second example we, after simplifying it we have to show that its value is equal to three times box product of a bar b bar c bar if you observe here uh, here this is first bracket this is second and this is what third and we know that addition or subtraction of vector is nothing but new vector quantity let us suppose that this will be first vector this will be second vector and this will be third vector here dot is there then cross is there means it is scalar triple product isn't it once dot and then cross or first cross then dot appears then it is called as scalar triple product means we have to uh, we have to find out scalar triple product of these vectors this is first vector this is second vector and this is what third vector so let us simplify it keep this first term as it is a bar plus 2b bar minus c bar as it is dot also as it is now we are taking cross product of these two bracket first take the cross product of a bar with all the terms in this bracket let us see what we will get here a bar cross a bar then a bar cross minus b bar is minus a bar cross b bar and lastly we will get a bar cross minus c bar is minus a bar cross c bar now we are taking cross product of minus b bar with these three terms so what we will get here minus b bar cross a bar minus minus will become plus b bar cross b bar and minus minus will become plus lastly we will get b bar cross c bar just simply we have taken cross product of these two bracket now uh, let us simplify it a bar plus 2b bar minus c bar dot also keep it as it is here cross product of two same vector is equal to what zero so here we will get zero minus a bar cross b bar keep it as it is again here minus a bar cross c bar keep it as it is we know that according to property of cross product minus b bar cross a bar can be written as what plus a bar cross b bar or again if we are interchanging these two vectors sign will get changed this plus will get replaced by what minus because cross product is not committed to a bar cross b bar cannot be written as b bar cross a bar a bar cross b bar can be written as what minus b bar cross a bar or we can say that minus b bar cross a bar can be written as what a bar cross b bar here cross product of same vector is equal to 0 keep the last term also b bar cross c bar as it is here uh, these two term this plus a bar cross b bar and minus a bar cross b bar will get cancelled keep the otherwise now here how many remaining terms are there two remaining terms are there so we are taking dot product of this bracket with these two terms isn't it so let us take the dot product of a bar with these two terms so what we will get here a bar in a bar dot minus first write down this minus and what we will get a bar dot a bar cross c bar just simply we have taken cross product with first term now take its cross product with second term so what we will get here plus a bar dot b bar cross c bar you are getting it i am taking dot product of these three vector with all the terms in this bracket two terms are there in this bracket first we have taken dot product of a bar with both the terms now we are taking dot product of 2b bar so here take the dot product with first term plus into minus will become minus twice b bar dot a bar cross c bar then take its uh, dot product with second term then we will get here plus into plus will be plus plus 2 and b bar dot b bar cross c bar now we are taking cross product of minus c bar with both the terms minus into minus will become plus and here we will get c bar dot a bar cross c bar and lastly we will get minus c bar dot b bar cross c bar okay so which is equals to now we are uh, now we are simplifying it applying the properties of scalar triple product one property says that if two vectors are identical then value of scalar triple product is zero means value of first scalar triple product will be equals to zero plus now this is scalar triple product of a bar b bar c bar and scalar triple product can also be denoted by what box product box product of a bar b bar c bar here minus 2 keep it as it is and here also this scalar triple product we are denoting it by box product box product of b bar a bar c bar and uh, here in this term two vectors are identical that's why here value of this scalar triple product will be equals to zero here also two vectors are identical that's why value of scalar triple product is zero here also two vectors are identical that's why value of scalar triple product will be equals to zero so which is equal to keep this box product of a bar b bar c bar as it is two also as it is now uh, I, 
our required result is what box product of a bar b bar c bar three times box product of a bar b bar c bar here the vectors are arranged in the same form a bar b bar c bar but but here the vectors are not in the not in that form so using property we are trying to arrange this vector in that form c bar is last vector in that case also c bar is last vector we are not disturbing to c bar now we are interchanging this b bar and a bar and according to property of scalar triple product if two vectors are interchanged then its value changes by what sign so here just we are interchanging these two vector b bar and what a bar and we know that if two vectors are interchanged value of scalar triple product changes by sign means minus will become what plus according to property now lastly find out the addition box product of a bar b bar c bar plus twice box product of a bar b bar c bar will be three times box product of a bar b bar c bar and that is our required result which we have to prove so this is our required result so this completes the solution of this example Later on, see the question number five. In question number five, value of c bar is equal to three a bar minus two b bar. Using this condition, we have to show that value of this box product will be equals to zero. So, what is given condition here? C bar is equal to three a bar minus two b bar. It is given to us. Let us make the use of this condition to show that value of box product is what zero. So, we know that value of box product is zero. If we are able to prove that these three vector a bar, b bar, c bar are what coplanar. Now, if you we'll observe this expression here, we can observe that c bar, c bar is expressed by linear combination of a bar and b bar, and we know that if one vector is expressed by linear combination of other two vector, at that time three vectors are what coplanar. And if three vectors are coplanar, we can say that box product will be equals to what zero. So here we can say that therefore c bar is expressed. by linear combination linear combination of which two vector linear combination of a bar and b bar and if one vector is expressed by linear combination of other two vectors so we can say that therefore a bar b bar and c bar are coplanar vectors are coplanar vector and if three vectors are coplanar hence we can say that value of their box product means box product of a bar b bar c bar is equal to zero so in this way we have got our required result this example can be solved using another method also let us try to apply another method so or so here our aim is here it is given to us that c bar is equals to 3 a bar minus 2 b bar this is given condition and our aim is to find out value of box product of a bar b bar c bar we know that box product means what scalar triple product so it can be written as a bar dot uh, a bar dot b bar cross c bar means if you are taking first dot then take what cross so according to definition of scalar triple product a bar keep it as it is dot also as it is b bar also as it is just simply c bar c bar i am replacing by its value what is its value 2a bar minus 2b bar isn't it just we are substituting the value of c bar here now simplify it so which is equal to a bar keep it as it is dot also as it is first we are taking cross product of b bar with both the terms in this bracket so what we will get here twice b bar cross a bar and then we will get minus twice b bar cross b bar just simply we have taken cross product of b bar with both the terms in this bracket so a bar dot keep it as it is 2 b bar cross a bar also as it is minus here we can say that cross product of same vector will be equals to what zero so replace this cross product by its value zero so which is equal to here we will get a bar dot 2 b bar cross a bar not necessary to write here uh, zero so which is equal to now first write down 2 a bar dot b bar cross a bar first we are writing numerical value according to property of dot product now if you we'll observe this expression first dot is there and then cross is there first dot then cross means it is scalar triple product and we know that in a scalar triple product if two vectors are identical or equal at that time we can say that value of scalar triple product will be equals to 0 and 0 into 2 will be equals to 0 
So in this way also we are able to show that value of this box product is equal to zero or uh, better way this is also simple method both methods are uh, simple here uh, you are able to uh, apply any one of these two methods to show that value of this box product is equal to zero.